three years ago, I got accepted to the Baylor University. Why did I pick this school? Because of the culture, the social life, and the love for Christianity, the academics, and most of all, the track and field team that I was a part of. I cherished every moment. I created memories. I developed friendships that are unbreakable. Those parties though, I stayed lit on the weekends. And even those crazy football games every week. We was ready for any team that tried to come for us. Us Bears went hard. Let's not forget that I got to be a part of the most amazing track and field team with wonderful coaches. That's something I will never forget. Competing at a Division I school was my dream since I was a little girl. I ran track majority of my life. It was my passion, lifeline. Can I just take a moment to shout out my former sprint coach, Coach Ford, and the head track coach, Coach Harbor. Thank you for letting me be a part of your track family. I went through blood, sweat, and tears to get to where I am today. Waking up early in the mornings for practices, or even class. Having doubts with myself. There was even a moment where I felt like giving up. I even had a dark moment, but that didn't stop me. I looked back and reminded myself why I came to Baylor. Why did God open this door for this junior college student? I had no clue he would bring me here to this well-known school. Call me crazy, but I didn't know the hype with Baylor. I just knew Baylor and its track team. I did not know this was a big time school that people dreamed to come to. I think that's why I was sent here, why God sent me here. I came in humble and I left humble. I literally cried. I finally overcame every obstacle and look where I am today. Your girl did it, and she is a degreed woman. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because I am finally coming to you guys with this Baylor graduation video. As y'all can see, I started off my video with a little bit of memories. I just have to show y'all my journey at Baylor. I was there for three years. It's bittersweet, like I'm happy, but I'm sad at the same time because it's like, dang, like, I'm done with Baylor. Like, I've been done with Baylor because I graduated last year. I'm actually class of 2020, but the only issue was COVID happened. And so, because of coronavirus, they had to cancel our graduation and we had a virtual graduation. Baylor was just like, you know what? We're going to give y'all a graduation. They gave us a commencement ceremony. And, you know, I signed up for it. And I was like, you know what? I went through blood, sweat, and tears at the school. I need a commencement. I need a ceremony. And so they gave it to us, and I'm really happy that they did because it, it doesn't really feel complete until you actually walk that stage, and it just feels complete. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really feel complete when you got a virtual graduation. You feel complete when you walk across that stage, and you're like, I did it. You know what I mean? So my graduation was on a Thursday, and um, I woke up early at like 6 a.m. because my graduation was at 2:30 in Waco. And so, mind you, I don't have my, I don't live in Waco anymore. I used to have an apartment in Waco, so I no longer live there. And then we left Houston around probably around 8 ish, and then we got there at 11. And I had a makeup appointment because I had to get my face beat. Mind you, I know how to do my makeup, so y'all can see. I do know how to do my makeup. But the thing was, I never got my makeup professionally done before, so to get it professionally done was something that I just wanted to do. I'm so sorry, you guys, that I did not film this. I already had it made up in my mind that, you know what, I'm gonna have a graduation vlog. I'm gonna show you guys um, from the beginning of the day to the end, and unfortunately, I did not do that because when I got there, I was a little, I was rushing a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy this vlog. Your education system and so are the relationships you'll build here. It's a unique one. Upon the recommendations from the Supreme Court, these academic units are on the authority of the Supreme Court. Look for her orange thing. Is she running back? Taylor or Dan Clark? Why is she running back? What's she doing? Someone. Paula Elizabeth Lawson. Oh, 
guys i'm sorry i didn't get to vlog the whole thing but i just officially graduated y'all i got my well i already have my degree but i got my other type of degree thingy and i'm so excited you guys i'm sorry i didn't get to film the whole day but it was really hectic i'm so excited i'm so happy here's the stadium 
and sick them y'all sick them forever i am a baylor alumna and i'm running because they're forcing us off the field so i gotta go you guys my feet is killing me this is my last time on the field i'm so sad but i'm so happy at the same time i'm going to go find my parents and yeah Whew. I should never wear these kind of shoes, but what can I say?
we got this right here and this is what they normally give you when you wear what came in this was and it's just a letter from linda Livingston, who is our president Let's see if i can show y'all that well here's my degree again let me show y'all again i do have a video showing you guys my degree so it looks when you open it up i also got this necklace my sister gave me this necklace and it says grad on it and when you look at the pictures you can see me wearing it and she got me a leg as well 